Elise Schachter is a rock star of destigmatization. That's how one of her nominators describes her, and that seems to be how she is viewed by the thousands of kids who have been captivated by her story. Elise even gets asked for her autograph from time to time. I'm the type of person who shyness, I'm very lucky, has not really been a big problem for me. This is not how you might expect people to react to someone with severe, treatment-resistant, obsessive-compulsive disorder. But then Elise Schachter is not what you might expect. Elise was 12 years old when she began scratching her skin, digging her nails into her thighs, and expressing that voices in her head were hurting her. Due to the severity of her illness, Elise had to finish grades 7 and 8 from a hospital. She returned to school for grade 9 and the first semester of grade 10, but then became too ill to carry on, so she continued her studies at home. Elise spends up to eight hours a day adhering to thousands of rituals. Brushing my teeth could take me hours, or showering could take me hours, or even just getting up the stairs to my bedroom could take me hours because I was so stuck in my head doing rituals and having obsessions. I need a little extra help and I need a lot of understanding, that's for sure, a huge thing, and patience from my friends and family, which is really, really important. But this courageous, charming, an energetic young woman doesn't let her OCD define her life. Elise is an honor student, a budding philanthropist, and an active volunteer who spends hundreds of hours every year helping others. Her resume lists things like the youth leadership camp program she has designed, her membership on the Canadian Mental Health Commission's National Advisory Group to develop the Mental Health Strategy for Canada, and awards from the United Way, CHEO, and the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. I love volunteering because I love people, so any excuse I can have to just be around random people, I'm happy. And I think if it's in more of a concrete situation, like a legit volunteer position, my parents are happier because I would probably literally just stand around and meet people if I could. Given all she has accomplished, it is no surprise that Elise received not one, but two nominations for the 2010 Inspiration Awards. I just am so grateful for an opportunity to share my story and to have I don't know, people appreciate it, it's so nice. From the beginning, Elise was open and candid about her illness, first discussing it with her friends, then insisting that her parents explain the diagnosis to her entire class, and eventually speaking to thousands of people at schools and hospitals. I was nervous for sure. I, I've done, I don't know how many presentations now, I'd say at least 30, and sometimes like 500 students at a time. And every time I am still so nervous, like it's my first one. My mom's always like, you've done this a million times. I'm like, I know, but I feel like it's my first one. Like I'm very nervous, but I love doing it. And I think that another reason why I really want to do it was because I really want to make it clear for people who are in the audience who are maybe struggling with mental illness and who don't have the courage to be open about it. Because for me, something I learned very young was that being open about it was not only incredibly amazing for me, but also for the people around me because they knew how to help. One of Elise's nominators wrote, When Elise stands up to speak to an auditorium full of disinterested, noisy, and restless grade 11 and 12 students, be prepared to be amazed. As she tells her heart-wrenching story with humor and insight, the audience stills and then starts to sit up. Hundreds of faces light up with compassion and understanding as she describes common tasks that present obstacles for her since her illness struck. Youth can really relate to youth. I think that's the main experience I've had. So in the sense that um, because a lot of people, especially like through their teens, might struggle with like de like depression, a little bit of depression or self-esteem problems, I think they can really understand when somebody um, is going through sort of what they've been through but a little bit more severe. I usually start off and I talk with um, the students about like celebrities who have OCD and I find that really helps because that, you know, their eyes kind of get big and they're like, oh my goodness, you know, it makes it okay. So I think it's so important. As Elise helps others, she also graciously accepts help from others, from her parents and younger sister who support her every day, to her schoolmates who would piggyback her to class so that she wouldn't step on a crack in the floor and have to start the journey all over again. Like I was just so excited. I know it's such an honor. Like a lot of the time, um, I said to my like I feel like I don't really deserve it because I'm just trying to like live my life and just do things that I enjoy. So I feel like I shouldn't really be rewarded for having fun. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I feel really honored. It is her spirit and the fearless way that she embraces people at a time when it would be so easy to push them away that make Elise an inspiration to us. I'm Elise Schachter, you know who I am.